Identify drug class with the help of suffixes. Learn drug names, indications, mechanism of action, side effects and warnings, all with help of mnemonics. Can you guess what drug class ends with the suffix solum? And the suffix CPAM? Yes you're right, the benzodiazepines. But, how to remember drug names? Here's a mnemonic to help you remember. There's a simple mnemonic for drugs with suffix solum is team. T for triazolam, E for estrazolam, A for alprazolam, M for midazolam. A mnemonic for drugs with suffix CPAM is, first, let's order tasty cold drinks quickly. F for fluorazepam, L for lorazepam, O for oxazepam, T for tamazepam, C for clonazepam, D for diazepam, Q for quizepam. The other drugs that don't share any of the suffix solum or zepam are claudiazepoxide and chlorazepate. Cute cats is a cute mnemonic. Now let's make a complete sentence. Here you go. Cute cats team, first, let's order tasty cold drinks quickly. See, it's that much easier. Now you've remembered the drug names. Now let's discuss the indications. Benzodiazepines can be indicated for anxiety disorders. Benzodiazepines can help alleviate symptoms of generalized anxiety disorder, social anxiety disorder, panic disorder, and other anxiety-related conditions. Sleep disorders. Some benzodiazepines with sedative properties are used to treat short-term insomnia by promoting sleep and improving sleep quality. Anterograde amnesia. Midazolam is a benzodiazepine often used for its amnestic effects. When administered before certain medical procedures or surgeries, midazolam can cause anterograde amnesia, which means the person may not remember events that occurred after receiving the medication. Seizures. Some benzodiazepines like diazepam, are effective in managing and controlling various types of seizures, including epileptic seizures and febrile seizures. Muscle spasms. Diazepam and clonazepam can be effective in relieving muscle spasms and promoting muscle relaxation. Now we have a simple mnemonic to learn indications too. It is, sweet apples always soothe mind. S for sleep disorders, A for anxiety disorders, A for amnestic effects, S for seizures and M for muscle spasms. Good, we've remembered the indications too. You're doing great. Let's discuss the mechanism of action. GABA is the primary inhibitory neurotransmitter in the central nervous system, meaning it reduces nerve cell activity in the brain, leading to a calming and relaxing effect. Benzodiazepines exert their pharmacological effects by interacting with specific receptors other than GABA receptors in the brain known as GABA-A receptors. GABA receptors are complex proteins located on the surface of neurons' nerve cells in the brain. Benzodiazepines bind to a specific site on the GABA receptor, which is distinct from the GABA binding site. When a benzodiazepine molecule binds to its site on the GABA receptor, it enhances the affinity of the receptor for GABA. This means that GABA is more likely to bind to its own site on the receptor when a benzodiazepine is present, and the binding of GABA is more effective in opening the chloride ion channel within the receptor. When GABA binds to its receptor site and benzodiazepines enhance this process, the chloride ion channel opens up. This allows hyperpolarization. It means negatively charged chloride ions makes the inside of neurons cell membrane more negative than the outside. The increase in chloride ion conductance and subsequent hyperpolarization of the neuron leads to an overall inhibitory effect on neuronal activity. As a result, the neuron becomes less likely to fire an action potential, and effectively reducing its excitability. Now let's discuss the side effects of bebzodiazepines. Drowsiness and dizziness. Confusion. Impaired coordination. Anterograde amnesia is actually the side effect. And tolerance or dependence. We have an easy mnemonic for learning side effects as well. That is acid DT. A for anterograde amnesia, C for confusion, I for impaired coordination, D for drowsiness, dizziness, D for dependence, and T for tolerance. Now discuss the warnings or contraindications. Bebsodiazepines are contraindicated in case of hypersensitivity, respiratory issues, myasthenia gravis, glaucoma, concurrent use with alcohol or other central nervous system depressants, pregnancy and breastfeeding, and liver impairment. Neomonic is liquefied petroleum gas, LPG harms, harm presents hypersensitivity, alcohol or CNS depressant use, respiratory issues, myasthenia gravis, 
LPG presents liver impairment, pregnancy and breastfeeding and glaucoma. Good job! Now you've remembered all about bebzodiazepines. Do like and share this video. And if you want more helpful videos like this, then subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon.